anything happening over there? No, I have got him going trying to make a wall. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's good uh, practice for, <laughs> yeah. for Evan. You know, because that, that group over there is like herding cats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had a good term. He said, I don't want to see no fat kid digging. Yeah. We sit above the hole and dig down. <laughs> I told him that. Oh God! It lives on. It lives. It's not very PC, but yeah. uh, believe me, PC stuff. Uh, a lot of that stuff is not original material. Right. I, I learned it from other. I'm Evan Saida. I've been coming out to the Judith River Dinosaur Institute digs for six summers now. I just graduated from Princeton University for my undergraduate and I'll be going to the University of Bristol next year for a master's in paleobiology. The best thing, well, I mean, the experience. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what I've always wanted to do and finally being able to come out and uh, see it come to fruition was great. And it gave me a great project. It, Gave me a lot of experience. Nate has been a good teacher. Mm -hmm. All those things, all those aspects. <laughs> My senior thesis was on the stegosaurs and the quarry over there. And, uh, a lot of very unique aspects of their biology came out as a result of this study. And it's the best stegosaurus site in the world. And you know, I guess they got a special spot for me. I'm going to be switching projects entirely. I won't be doing stegosaurs anymore, but uh, it was fun. It was a fun project. Well, I had heard of Nate uh, through his discoveries. I, I had known the name, but uh, when I actually realized that I could come and volunteer on DIG was just through, you know, internet search. And, uh, I had been looking for opportunities to volunteer on a dig. See, I'm from Florida, and we have a lot of fossils, but they're mammal fossils, they're not dinosaurs. And where I'm from, in particular, uh, there's no quarry work. So I wanted to have the traditional experience, you know, uh, dinosaur dig for one, but also, you know, an actual quarry and the full process instead of just going around and picking up, you know, a fossil tooth here and there off the beach. Tons of technique, yeah, and it's a, it's a long process. Mm -hmm. A lot of steps, a lot of time. Nate's been a great instructor. He's, you know, one of the best in doing field work, and that's what I want to learn from the guy who's uh, the best at it. The key is the experience in the field. So uh, Princeton did not actually have any vertebrate paleontologists, so uh, the ability to come out here was uh, supplemental to my biology yeah, is, right? education. Um, I was able to get a lot of time uh, in the field, in the lab, stuff that some people don't even really get until they go for their PhD. So it, it gives you a step ahead.